So you are here to learn how to absolutely dominate as a medic in Hell Let Loose. I'm going to go over the top five things that I want to talk about about improving your gameplay as a medic in Hell Let Loose. So let's jump right in. Number one, understanding your role. If you've watched any of my other role guides, this is going to have the very same exoskeleton. So understanding your role, your primary objectives as a medic are going to be engagement, reviving, healing and communicating. So what I mean by this is by engagement, I mean, make sure that you're only engaging enemies when you have to, and you're only engaging them at a medium to long range. You don't want to be engaging enemies at a close range, and you don't want to be engaging enemies when you don't need to. Reviving. What do I mean by that? Pretty simple. You have 20 morphine, or depending on what team you're playing, you have 20 different revives that you can use on your team. You're going to want to be reviving, but also choosing wisely who, how, and when to revive people. Moving on to healing here, this one is pretty simple. You've got 20 bandages. Everyone else only spawns with maximum of two. So you also heal a lot faster than any other role in the game. So you're going to want to be communicating, which is the last thing I wanted to mention on this bullet here. Overly communicate to your teammates that you're coming to heal them or revive them. Okay, reviving, healing, engaging and communicating. Those are your top things. Let's talk about the equipment you get as a medic. So you get a bolt action rifle. You get a secondary pistol, which is pretty nice. You get two smoke grenades, 20 revives. 20 bandages and a knife and of course the upgraded level three medic kind of garbage to be honest no real reason to use it so just don't in my opinion now it's really important to stay close to your squad and make sure you're making wise revives now the reason i say this is because as a medic when you are nearby your squad just like an officer you will suppress no pun intended the amount of suppressive effects that your squad receives when they're being suppressed by gunfire so basically what i'm saying here is when you're getting shot at you will receive or your squad will receive less suppressive effects on their screen you know when bullets are whizzing by and you're like your character seems like they're freaking out if you are nearby your squad that will be reduced because you're a medic now, the importance of revives is, you know, obviously other than waiting, making your teammate wait, be forced to wait 20, 30 seconds to spawn. Sometimes, you know, it's lucky and it's 10 or less. But instead of making your teammate wait that period of time, they get to be revived immediately. Now, obviously, there's more to it than that because we're talking about offensive and defensive pushes as well. Because if you can revive your teammate and also have your squad clear an area from where you got attacked from simultaneously, you'll be able to push harder, faster, and recover more quickly on a defensive or an offensive push any sort of push that you're trying to make whether it be tactical objective based defensive offensive anything it'll recover more quickly you'll be able to achieve it more rapidly number two coordinate with your team now what i was talking about earlier kind of rolls into this as well because i was talking about communication so it is utterly important to communicate with not only your squad but using voip to communicate with the players around you because you're going to want to let them know hey i'm a medic i'm coming i'm coming to heal you don't waste your bandage i'm coming to revive you don't respawn and these are just critically important things that you want to communicate so that your commander doesn't lose manpower from people respawning it is really important to communicate with the squad leader to assist in achieving tactical objectives not the main objective but like tactical positioning and other things like that because if you are traveling as a squad this mostly applies more so when you're playing with friends as a squad however it can apply if you're playing pubs too if your squad leader is trying to achieve a tactical objective your whole squad is together working towards that objective, but you lose an engineer and the engineer is required for part of the objective that your officer was trying to achieve. It's kind of important for you to be able to revive him, but it's also important, obviously, for your teammates to eliminate the enemies that eliminated your engineer. But you can easily see how this is a very vital role. Now, quickly note, keep in mind, if teammates are blown up by grenades, rockets, tanks, or shot in the head, you will not be able to fix them. I'm not entirely sure what a medic in World War II could do to help any of that anyways, so that makes sense and plays along to the aspects of the game. Now, lastly here in number two, it is very important to use your map markers as well as using your mic. If you don't have a mic, you know it is what it is. This game can be fun without it, but use your fucking map markers and the chat box as much as possible if you do not have a microphone. But you should also be using your map markers as is, whether you have a mic or not, on top of communicating. If you found some value in these two tips, I've given you so far, go ahead and drop a sub down below so I know I'm doing something right here.
Rolling into number three, adapt to the situation. Now, to avoid in-depth complexness of this whole point, I'm literally gonna deduce this down to a simple statement. Use smoke grenades wisely. You have two smoke grenades, your officer has two smoke grenades, and there are some other roles that spawn with smoke grenades as well. Use them wisely, okay? Don't just throw smoke grenades on every downed guy you see, okay? You really should be, as a medic, focusing on your squad and achieving tactical objectives with your squad. I know that can be really hard to do in Hell Let Loose sometimes, and sometimes you really just focus hard on healing people everywhere, you know? And that's fine too. But if you're gonna do that, use your smoke grenades wisely. You know, like, if you can communicate to the team, your teammates, let them know, hey, I'm coming, the area's hot, please do not respawn, I'm gonna get there as soon as I can. If you can wait a little bit, wait for the area to get cleared, perfect. You don't need to use a smoke grenade. If this place is fucking hot as shit, you need to just kind of throw a smoke grenade and revive a few people, or you see a machine gunner or an automatic rifleman is down that was kind of suppressing. Throw a smoke grenade, get in there, try not to die, revive them quick. All I'm saying basically here is just think before you use a smoke grenade. They're very useful. Rolling into number four here, play to your role's strengths. Now, as a medic, I feel like it's pretty clear what your strengths are. Your strengths are going to be healing players more rapidly than themselves and reviving players, as well as assisting in any sort of push for any sort of objective or non-objective, as well as engagement, just like a rifleman. I feel like I really don't have a whole lot to say here about playing to the role's strengths because that's pretty much it. There's really not much else that the medic is really good at. I did mention the tip prior about staying near your squad to reduce the suppression effects from enemy teams. But really, other than that, there's not much to the medic. It is a very straightforward, simple class. That doesn't mean it's not hard, but it is simple. Now, I really want to encourage you to choose your revives wisely, like I mentioned very early in the video. You want to overly communicate, like I've also mentioned, to your downed or bleeding players that you're coming to revive them or heal them. Now, I'm not reiterating this because I want to sound like an idiot. I'm reiterating this because it is important. You really need to overly communicate. I've said it so much in all of my Hell Let Loose videos, I'm almost hating myself for it, but it is really, really, really important. So overly communicate, choose your revives wisely, use your smoke grenades wisely, and you'll be a very successful medic. All right, so we've gone over four of my five major kind of topic style tips here. We've gone over understanding your role, coordinating with your team, adapting to the situation, which I kept very simple for you guys, and playing to your role strengths. Lastly, number five, and I will always use this cop out in my role guides, is to continuously learn and improve. Obviously, it's always very important to continue to learn and improve in no matter what you do in life that applies to video games as well if you want to continue to grow as a player as a medic and continue to have more fun as a medic just keep looking for ways to learn how to play better as a medic and improve as a medic talk to your teammates your squad mates ask them how can i do better even in the not in the midst of battle but in the midst of a game go ahead and be like hey like if you're new be like i don't know what the hell i'm doing please help me with xyz if you're kind of a veteran you know you've got like 50 hours or something just kind to ask if anybody has tips as a medic. Personally, some of my tips to improve as a medic, I've really gone over a lot of them already, but it's going to be to reduce the amount of engagements you have, stay behind your squad, don't get in front of them, don't go ahead of anything, don't jump into battles, those types of things. Use prone to your advantage, crawl to places, change the appearance of your character if you can so that it fits in with the environment better. I mean, that's really all I got. There's not really a whole lot else I could say. It's just a continuous learning of the maps, learning of different strategies, and just how to play Hell Let Loose overall, as this game can kind of be a bit of a beast. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and drop a sub down below, and stay tuned for more gaming content. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.